What's up guys, this is your boy Russian. And do to the publisher change coming up very soon next week, we're gonna do something different today for Rappelzi News. We're gonna be looking back at the history of the people who actually make this game. The players. What means you. Alright, so this is BND and this is Rappelzi News. Alright guys, so before we start with the main part of our video today, let's just remind everybody, you guys have until the 22nd, what is, third day of this video, about 5 to 4 days from now. I know a lot of people are still having issues, actually probably not that many people, but some people are still having issues transferring their account. Um, so try to solve that as well as you can, as fast as you can. I know there are some mods trying to help people on that. Um, just don't wait for don't wait for the last minute. Uh, I already transferred all my accounts. I had been a little lazy, not fully my fault. My computer decided to just say how much it hated me. So I had to pretty much reinstall everything, but I was able to get everything done in time. I hope you guys do too. I don't want anybody really upset because they ran out of time and they lost all their stuff. I also know there's a lot of people scared that won't the new publisher, you know, you may open your inventory and you don't have half the stuff you had before. It happens and hopefully they will be able to fix if this happens to any players. Anyway, so today as I said, we're going to be looking at the history. A while ago, I actually posted on the forums a question that everybody has a story. I mean, myself, I started playing this game all the way back 2006 during Epic 3. Uh, that's when the servers opened for US and the rest of the world. And my story was I used to work from <laughs> pretty much Monday to Friday, but the difference is I was getting a plane on a Sunday and coming back Friday night and spending the weekend with my daughter. So during that time my daughter loved games, she was still about two years old, but she used to love me playing games. So we found this game Rapelzi and she helped me build a character, she pretty much told me what to do during the game and she was very excited. And that's one of the reasons why I have great love for that. So as I told you guys, at some point in my life, a few years later, after I started playing the game, I was doing some Call of Duty LARPing around the world, and when I had my R&R &R and some time to play with my daughter, one of the things she asked me was to play the Rooster game. Rooster game because if you guys remember, we had poultry, and that was pretty much the pet she enjoyed me playing with. So, to make it easier and to be able to actually, you know, pass the story as it is for you guys, I'm gonna actually read the replies of people that had this story. So, first one, Abydus. Uh, and I'm probably gonna butcher some names in here, but... So, Abydus, a writer, who joined in September 2010. I started because a girl I was dating. I guess shortly after the Lindy merged to Fenrir, she and I were running around killing things and I thought, hmm, there must be more to it than this. Over the next few weeks, I logged on and off and finally got to the Ultimate Witch Trial. This was when you needed an R7 to help you, or you were pretty much cooked. A few guys ran across us from SOV and helped us through. We joined the guild knowing hardly anything, and as the months went by, I soaked up everything I could from Hesekon and soon was on every minute I wasn't working. About a year later, Soxy quit playing, but I continued on. The memories of logging on and see all my new friends, Hesekon, Minkor, Gigi, Dr. Juju, Enticement, 
and so many others, filled the void I had in my life at that time. As the years passed, people dropped off, but SOV trucked on and I became the GM for what seemed another six years. Shout out to Shandrazel, Tanked Up, and so many others. We all reach a point where we have to return to life, but the friends I made from SOV, One Sky, Exile, and so many others still hold a place in my thoughts to this day. It's a game, ladies and gentlemen, and while we're still in it, we all had a role to play. Whether it should be the strongest guild, the peacekeepers, or the villain. Shout out to Implode, lol. Sorry for always chasing you down. It was a great 11 years for me. I stopped playing about two years ago and ever so often I will log in and see if I recognize a name and then just as quietly slip away. B-Man! Way back in 2007 I bought myself a classic car and had met a few people through a forum I got on well with. One of them and his girlfriend introduced me to Rappels. This was about the time my first son was born, so I was often logged in on Tandem during sleepless nights. I have quit and taken breaks many times, but always returned. I have made many friends over the years. Most don't play anymore, but honorable mentions to Elementis, Emerys, Ezo, Mobile, Born, Anna, Kyle Flax, Verdi, et al. Secret Stash. I started back in 2006 Epic Trick, where there were all kinds of cash items dropping. I was playing a browser game with a bunch of people who invited me to join them playing this. We done great for quite some time, then they started to become inactive, so I left, and they fell out with me over it. Didn't turn out so bad because I have met some good people who I consider friends. Even to this day, I still keep in touch with a couple of them. Rip to one of those who invited me to play. Evelite. I started in 2007 and found Rapelzi when I was looking for a game like Diablo 2 but online. I really got hooked by the sceneries, the story and the music soundtrack, which actually is very fitting. I was gonna play alone all the time, but when I was level 25 or so, I started to DP in DMR Moon, and then I was sold. The thrill of getting plenty of XP was great. Fun messy parties with people dying countless times. Running to spot was fun, including the famous wall jumping moon. Played mostly on Strider, Cleric and Huna in the beginning. Game got new content, I joined a guild like Fireball, Exile and One Sky and met lots of great people. Many great memories like Sieges, Thames, Fifth Hawkman on Lydian and a lot of money spent in cash shop. I can play without the HP pass. Had a break now for like 4 years and got back 10 years ago and still like it, almost missed it. I deleted my tunes over 15 times because now I get so much freebies and it's so easy to get to 15 times now. My highest level tune, Adelite, is only 164 so I have lots of fresh content to play. The Black Wolf Well, I have a story of love. In 2008 I started to play Rapelzi with my girlfriend. The game gave us hours of playing and happy moments. In that moment the game was a total different game. It was much more fun with much more people and you was able to feel the progress. So in 2012, my girlfriend and I broke up for some stupid reasons, but one day of June at 2013, I was farming tolls and TOE, and she write me in game, so we start to talk, and then we start to farm. And she write me in game, so we start to talk, and then we start to farm. And then we appoint one date, and BOM! Here we are, Rapelzi put on that flame again. So in my first years of relationship, Rapelzi was there, using the magic glue of gaming. When we broke up, was Rapelzi who gave us the way to connect again and start again the relationship. Now we are a happy wife and husband. She doesn't play Rapelzi anymore because of the pay to win, but I time to time come back to Rapelzi to honor the old days, the flame of Rapelzi, 
never turned off on me. That's awesome. Sun Air. Okay. Back in 2008, I was playing rappels in school. Private school that took great means to digitalize everything. So we had to use our laptops and got provided internet access almost everywhere. So I played Rapelzi 50 to 80% of the time while sitting in class or in the lectures and only came online outside of it for time attacks or attacking a dungeon or defending. Afterwards, it changed. I invested more times in the evenings into Rapelzi. Fast forward to 2020. So I don't have a breakup or a get together story, but what is great that I get to know people that are 20, 30, 40 years ahead of me, done what I am or was planning to do, so I learned from their mistakes, took their advice, and got to where I am in life now. Which is being a successful sales guy that has seen almost every country either for work or pleasure. So by all means, Rapelzi helped me shape the great life I have. And therefore, I am thankful to have a meeting like this. All right, and on top of that, uh, I need to give a shout out. Uh, not gonna say the name, but an old guildie of mine. And the reason why he actually joined Rapelzi is he needed an outlet. And the reason was his daughter had a terminal disease and he spent most of the time with her. So his free time to actually unwind and not to actually think about those things going on in his life. He found Rapelzi and it helped him. The people, the friends he made helped him go through with it. So, like I said, what makes a game is not just publishers, it's not just developers, it's us. So, whatever happened next week and on the next months and on the years to come, this game only exists because of people like me and you. So guys, I hope the transition goes fine. I, I really wish. I will miss a lot of people from WebZen, a lot of people that I, I, I see as friends even, on, even now and it's beyond any issues I had with the company itself. It's really about people. So anyway, guys, this is your boy, Russian. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys stay safe. And as always, I'll see you in the game.